Hey guys, it's day 64 and we want so much more. Oh my goodness, 64. Quarantine Cuisine shown is home and we are making vegetable spring rolls. Oh wee, oh wee. It's gonna be good. This is, okay, this is gonna be really fun. This is, takes a lot of steps, but it's not hard at all, okay? And I know Parker's gonna be blown away with this whole process. <laughs> okay. Okay? Yeah. So to start, now the fun thing about this recipe is you can basically use everything in your refrigerator that's like about to go bad, right? You can just make any kind of mixture um, to put inside your spring roll wrapper. So I have two portobello mushrooms. I have two small carrots that are like really soft and like on their way out. I've got these like janky looking scallions. I've got an onion, a pepper that's getting soft. Look at my ginger, don't judge, what it's all it? wrinkly. It oh. It's just soft and some garlic and I have a little bit of um, Napa cabbage. I also have these spring roll wrappers. These are the ones that I like the best, the Dynasty Egg Roll Spring Roll Wrappers. You can get them in your refrigerated um, section of your supermarket. And over here I have some oil heating up and I have a um, saute pan heating up, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is start cutting our vegetables. So I wanna cut my onion first. And so like I said, you know, I like onion in this. If you don't wanna put onion in, don't put onion in. I'm only gonna use half an onion. Um, but you can use a yellow onion, a red onion, a white onion. You can use shallots, you can use leeks, anything you want, okay? You really can substitute anything for this. So we have an onion. I'm just gonna put into a small dice. So I went all the way across the top and then I'm just going to shimmy my Yikes. knife. Yikes. Yikes. Shimmy my knife in there and then up here, okay? And then we're just gonna run our knife down the center and we have this beautiful dice, okay? Okay, so we have that. Yeah. Okay. And then I also want to do my mushroom. So this is a portobello mushroom. We're just going to, you know, I told you I don't wash my mushrooms. I just take a, pe a paper towel, a dry or wet paper towel, and I just go around and get any um, existing debris off the top of the cap. Then I'm going to just snap off that stem and I'm going to get rid of it. You could save it for vegetable stock, but I don't have space in my refrigerator right now for vegetable stock. So we're just going to discard that. Same thing with this guy. I'm just getting rid of that. It's very woody. It's not very pleasant to eat. And I'm just gonna make sure that there's no extra debris there. Okay, simple, right? Yeah. So now here, I'm gonna just take the cap and I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller by going down the center. See that? Oh. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Okay. And now I'm gonna go across and then turn it this way and make a dice, okay? And you can cut it into strips, you can make it into a dice, you could even put this in your food processor and um, and blend it up a little bit, you know, not puree it, but just rough it up, rough chop it, and that would be totally fine, okay? But I like a little bit more texture in mine, and they are gonna shrink once we cook them. Okay, so let's start out by putting the mushrooms and onions in our hot pan. So what I'm gonna do is put a little, I'm gonna come right back there, Parker, so okay. stay there. I'm putting some um, canola oil in my pan. Okay, enough to coat the bottom. And then I'm gonna just come back here and I'm gonna scoop my mushrooms in there straight from the board. Wow. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. And we'll just dance those around a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more oil because you know the mushrooms, they absorb oil right away like a sponge. Okay. Oh, it smells good already. I know. Amazing. Okay. Okay, so we'll leave that for a minute. Now I'm gonna use this wet paper towel and kind of wipe my board down. Okay. And I wipe my knife. So I'm adding, you know, just some other ingredients. These are definitely ingredients that I would choose to put in my um spring roll. I think they, they all pair really well together and they kind of have a little bit of an Asian flair. But 
like I mentioned, if you have zucchini, put zucchini in. If you have yellow squash, put that in. If you have um, button mushrooms, you can put that in. If you have red peppers instead of a yellow pepper, you could do that. Um, so it's really, it's up to you. Okay, so now the mon mushrooms and onions take a little bit longer to cook. So I'm putting things in the pan according to how they cook. So the next thing I wanna do is actually my carrots. So I'm gonna cut this into little shingles. See that? Mm -hmm. And I can just stack them up on each other. You can do this on a mandolin if you don't wanna do it by hand. I didn't feel like pulling my mandolin out right now. I'm just showing you different ways you can get those shingles, right? You wanna be really careful when you cut a carrot because it's rounded and it tends to, to spin on you. So just be careful. Okay, and now I'm gonna run down this carrot and make very thin strips. So making julienne, okay? And the carrot's gonna add nice crunch to this. It's gonna add a, a really beautiful sweetness and it's also gonna add um, a colorful brightness that we're gonna get from the color of the carrot itself, this beautiful orange color, right? Okay. Okay. And now I'm just gonna, you know, bunch these all together and go down the middle and cut it in half, okay? And now I'm gonna put this into my pan. Oh. I would've dropped that after it was there. I know. I would've been on the floor. Okay, so I'm just mixing this around. Our onions are getting a little bit soft. Our mushrooms are starting to, you know, let go of some of that water and, and relax in the pan. Everyone's invited to this party. Everyone feels good. No social distancing in this pan. Okay, so we got our carrots. We just want to get them a little bit soft. Okay, and let's go back over to our cutting board. So the next thing I want to put in is some yellow pepper. So the way I do it, as you know, I cut this off. You can save these little pieces just to munch on. We'll leave them on the side. You don't want to waste anything. Yep. Get in there, Parks. And then so I cut off both ends very tight um, to the root ends and the stem ends. And then I just run my knife until you get down here. And then I just roll it out. And you know, I get those membranes out and I get those seeds out and there's nothing really left in there that's too edible and we just discard that, wow. okay? And I have this beautiful yellow pepper. And then what I like to do, because I really want these to be thin, is I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that membrane out. So you need a very sharp knife to do this. Okay. And again, you can save that for stock or you can just discard that, but I'm gonna get to discard that, okay? And so now we have this beautiful pepper. And then I told you, I always cut it with the inside up. If you cut it down like this through the skin, you know, I can cut it because I have a very sharp knife, but it's much easier this way, okay? So I'm just gonna bang right through this. beautiful julienne there and I'm gonna throw this in the pan look at those colors isn't that nice let me just grab these guys because they're invited to the party too okay so I'm gonna move this around and now that we've given the mushrooms and onions a little bit of time to um, kind of get some nice color on them and get a little bit soft. Now I'm gonna add a tiny bit of salt, okay? Sorry, Parker, the cross over here. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and that's gonna also help uh, release some moisture that we wanna get out of here, okay? Okay, now let's go back. We have a couple more things to do. But you see we're doing it in stages, okay? So now I have some cabbage. I don't want to use, you You can use whatever you want, and a lot of people like this end of it. I don't like that in my spring roll so much, so we'll save that for something else. Um, and I'm just gonna, I line these up, and I'm gonna just roll them and make a chiffonade, okay? And a chiffonade is just when you layer something on top of each other, like a deck of cards, whether it's 
this cabbage or basil leaves um, and you roll it up. You layer it on top of each other and then you layer it, uh, I'm sorry, you layer it on top of each other and you roll it up and then you make this nice chiffonade. Mm. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's get that in the pan. And now, now we've got a party going, right? We've got all these beautiful colors. It's really healthy. It's a vegetarian. Um, it could be ve completely vegan. Uh, I am gonna use an egg to seal my wrapper, but you could just use water if you wanted to make this 100% vegan, okay? Mm. So that looks really, really nice. Um, I'm gonna add now some kind of aromatic stuff to that, right? So we're coming back over here at Parks. Yeah. And I have my scallions. I'm gonna just take off these kind of dead ends there. And we're just gonna cut. And they're gonna get cooked, so it's okay that this is kind of mushy. That's why I chose this scallion. It's gonna give it some nice oniony flavor. Okay. Yep. And I'm gonna just cut a couple over here for garnish, okay? okay? And just leave that on the side, okay? Yep. So that's my garnish right there. We'll get rid of this. And then I have um, a clove of garlic. I think I'm only gonna use one clove of garlic for right now. And take off that skin. Mm. Okay. And then I have this piece of ginger. I'm not gonna need the whole thing either, so I'm just gonna take a piece of it off and I'm gonna just cut around it to get the skin off. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just discard this. Okay, and then in the meantime, I want to bring all of this over. Okay. So I'm going to come back here in okay. one second. I'm just putting my scallions in. Let me wipe my board and then you can come with me, Parks, okay? okay. Great. Come on over, Rover. Thanks. Thanks for the tip. Okay, so I'm going to take my garlic and just use it on the microplane. Really easy instead of chopping it up. Oops. And get some nice flavors in there. So we're layering our flavors, right? Like we always do. So we did mushrooms and onions and some canola oil, and we let that cook for a little bit, and then we added our julienne carrots, and then we added our julienne yellow pepper, and then we added our scallions, and we added some Napa cabbage that we chiffonade. We just made a little pile, rolled it up like a cigar, and cut it into a chiffonade, and now I'm adding some ginger on my microplane and some garlic and we're just mincing it directly into the pan. Okay, really easy. I wanna put a good amount of ginger in here. Get that kind of nice Asian flavor going, right? The garlic and the ginger and oh, it pairs so well with mushrooms and carrots and scallions, oh my, right? Okay, that should be good. Let me mix this around a little bit. And that looks really nice. We want it soft enough where the vegetables are cooked, um, but not too soft. We don't want them to be completely, like we don't want them to lose all integrity. You know, we want them to have like a little bit of bite to them. So I'm just really mixing that garlic and ginger around to combine it. And now what I want to do is I'm going to turn off my heat. And generally I would let this sit, okay, and cool. You can even put it like on a small sheet pan and put it in your freezer to chill. You don't really want to wrap it when it's hot, but I'm gonna add a couple things which are gonna cool it down. I'm gonna add about a, two teaspoons of soy sauce, okay? And that's deglazing my pan. I'm gonna add about, whoops, a tablespoon of poison sauce. That was poison, not poison. Right. Poison sauce. Okay. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. Okay? So that's going to just add a little extra flavor to this. I'll mix that around so everybody's invited, right? Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so let's bring this over here. 
me see where I'm going to put this. Okay, you know what? I'm going to transfer it into a bowl just to make my life a little bit easier, okay? So I'm just going to transfer it out of this pan. Doesn't that look beautiful? I mean, look, seriously, you could just eat this and put it over rice. Ooh. That would be fantastic, that would right? Be fantastic. So, you know, this is just a nice mixture. That's that's our filling. Okay, so you really want to let this cool. Just kind of disregard how I'm doing it right now. But for timing purposes, I just want to keep moving and grooving. Okay, so we're going to let that cool. I have my spring roll wrappers. And what I like to do is just put a paper towel down. Uh, while I'm uh, building the wrappers because I don't want to get egg white all over or, or egg yolk Let's just say egg all over my cutting board. Okay um, So in addition, I have some chili garlic sauce Okay, this is really famous sauce. You can get this in any supermarket And I'm gonna put a little bit of that into my dipping bowl. Okay, it's pretty hot stuff So that's in there and then I also have some really nice lettuce right here, okay? And we're gonna use that to wrap up our spring rolls, okay? And in addition to that, what I like to do is I like to put some fresh mint in with my spring rolls and some basil, okay? And that's kind of like a real like Vietnamese way to eat it, okay? So I'm just gonna put these on here as a garnish. Oh to put in your spring roll. Yeah. And that's up to you, Parks, if you don't want to put mint. Is that, is that mint? This is mint. And the other is This basil. is actually from our garden. Oh. And so is the basil. So this is mint. I love mint in here. I really enjoy mint in savory dishes more than sweet. Um, I like them in sweet, but I just, you know, like I love a mojito with muddled mint and rum and like a little bit of simple syrup. I love mint in salads. I love mint, like with chopped up with watermelon. I just, I really enjoy mint. I think it's underrated. Okay, so I have some basil leaves. So we'll put that over here too. Okay, so this is kind of our little garnish party over here. Okay, let's start rolling these out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break an egg into a bowl. And we'll mix that up. And this is gonna become our glue, okay? And what I like to do is add a little bit of cold water to this, just a touch, like a teaspoon. And that will just help loosen up our egg a little bit and not make it so gloppy, okay? So Parker, you didn't ask me about my hat. <laughs> uh, I didn't. <laughs> Did you um, notice it's a new I, hat? I, I noticed you had a hat on when we first started filming because I was trying to see your face. Oh. And I didn't want to have to shoot up from your waist at you. Now, now I can see you. Um, I see it's got an orange on it. It's actually a peach. A peach. And, it has a peach on it. And it's the logo for uh, David Chang's restaurant, Momofuku. And he is my favorite chef in New York. His restaurants are my favorite. They're the restaurants I miss the most from now living in L.A. Uh, Momofuku and... Um, his noodle bar. I mean, I just, I love his stuff. And he opened a restaurant here recently. But with COVID happening, um, they started selling these hats because usually they used to only give them to staff. They started selling these hats online uh, to raise some money for the employees of Momofuku. Mm. So I just got one in the mail. I love and it. I'm happy to support I that. I really like it. And this is their logo, Lucky Peach. So if you're in New York, go support Momofuku. Okay. All right, so back here. So what we're gonna do is I have the spring roll and I'm putting it like a diamond facing me, okay? And we're gonna take some of our filling and you don't want a lot, less is more because the filling tends to uh, break outside of the um, wrapper if you, over, if you overfill it, okay? That is so hot, you can't even imagine. Luckily, I have hands of steel. Okay, and then what I do is, um, let me get the pastry brush. Because we're gonna take a little brush. You don't wanna go bananas, but I'm just gonna add a little bit to these oh. two sides, okay? Just two sides? Just two sides. Okay, interesting. Okay? Yeah. Got it? 
surprise. Okay, now I'm gonna take this bottom corner yep. up to the top yep. and then bring it down. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't know if you can Inside see. Inside where you put the... And bring it down to make it tight around our filling. And then I'm gonna bring the sides in and then I'm gonna roll it up like a cigar. Huh. Okay. What do you know? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Okay, so we'll do it again right here. Hmm. How many do you want, Parks? Oh, I think I need at least two or three. What? How many would you have said? Okay, well. Six? <laughs> I think two each is probably. Two each is good? Is good. Okay. For now, okay. you know what I mean? We're gonna yeah. have extra mix. And, um, but let's just do two each for us. Okay. And then I'm gonna show them something else. So, yeah, so we'll do two each. So once again, I'm glad I get to actually demo this again for you. We're gonna take some of our filling. We're gonna put it in the center. And, you know, please, if you're doing it at home, please wait till it's cool. This is, I wouldn't advise doing it like this at all. Okay, I don't want you to burn your fingers and all that jazz. Now I gotta wash my hands. Okay, yeah, so smoking. we're back at it, and here we have, um, so we get into our egg wash, and you can save this egg wash for other things because it's not being contaminated by anything, right? Okay, so once, I'll put it in a little container and save it for maybe a week, if, and see if I need it for something else. Okay, so then we're gonna bring this back up, right? We bring it up, and then we bring it back down, and kind of make like a secure mm -hmm. little jelly roll there. Mm -hmm. And then we're gently going to Fold it up and bring the sides in and tuck it. This one's a little bit shorter, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah. And the same thing. exactly the same. It's almost the same. Perfect. Okay, so we bring it up and down. And you fold in the sides. And that one has a little hole, but it's okay because I'm going to cover it up right there. Okay. And let's do one more because I'm going to show you. So what I would normally do is um, if we only want to eat a couple of these right now, right? So I'll do this off camera after, after we're done is I'll roll the rest of these and I will save them for another time. And I'll show you how I do that. You know, or if let's say you're catering a party and you wanted to make these and you could make them even smaller, you could cut these wrappers into smaller squares or you can buy the smaller squares. Um, so what I do is if I'm catering a party and I'm going to have spring rolls, I, I'll do these like a week in advance, right? And I'll roll them up just like I am, fold them up, get them all snug as a bug in a rug. Oh, I forgot to put my glue on. Oh. That's okay. Yeah. No problem. Does water not make it stick as well? Water does, but it doesn't stick as well. Yeah. So then what I do is I have a piece of plastic here and I just individually wrap them up in plastic, okay? Oh, yeah. And then I put them in the freezer. So I'll wrap them up like this. I'll put them all in one Ziploc and write, you know, wild mushroom spring rolls or veggie spring rolls on it so I know what's inside because you think you're gonna remember, but you won't. And then you can take them out and you can put them frozen right into the oil oh. and cook them. So like a late night snack, after school snack, quick hors d'oeuvre when you have like somebody stopping by unexpectedly. Okay, so it just takes a matter of the oil heating up. Wow. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna drop these in my oil. Okay, let's make sure that it's hot enough. So you know what we do, we check and see if the bubbles are rising up, which they are. Hard to see. Here, hold on. Is my hand in the way? No, let me, let me, let me see. Oh, there oh. we go, now I can really see it. There you go. Okay, so that is ready. And you can do a shallow fry with this or you can do it, this is a little bit of more of a deeper fry. So we're gonna put all four of those in at the same time. And I'm gonna turn my oil up just a touch because once we put these in, you know it's gonna lower the temperature of our oil. Mm, where's it going? Keep it away. Yeah, so just... So you're cooking the wrapper because the, the everything else is already cooked. 
everything else inside is already cooked. That's correct, Parker. So it's really just a matter of frying that wrapper and getting it nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. gently move these around without just you know breaking them open that's why I'm so with the this. water they might break open at this stage if with, you didn't use egg um no 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 they're not going to open but i just don't want to um because this is a little bit big for this pot i'm yeah. just using this to just kind of gently move them around just so i don't yeah break them yeah yeah so you could do you know, you could put um, tuna inside of these, you know, like yellowfin tuna, rare, and then it would cook a little bit. You could put shrimp in there, you could put chicken, you could put beef, you could put pork, um, just keep it vegetarian. You could put tofu in here. I mean, it's really the possibilities are endless. And it's such a crowd pleaser. See how they're getting nice and golden? Beautiful. Okay, so we let these um, fry for about five or six minutes and look at, they have this beautiful golden color. They have this like puffiness that you see like on the outside of like cannolis. I mean, they're really, really beautiful. They really kept their shape. And I just have them on a paper towel just so that I can get a little bit of that excess oil off. And then what I like to do is just cut them in half and you can see the inside. Ooh. I mean, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that's gorgeous. So you can cut it like that, right? You could also cut it kind of like sushi style and you can have like a little dude like that. Like if you have more people coming and you just uh -huh. want more like bite size. Yeah. And then you can cut this that way and then you can have these standing. Oh. Right? Oh, so it's just fun. like a fun little party. Oh, this is like Legos. It is? <laughs> okay. Kinda. So we'll just, we'll do that. All kinds of shapes, it's fun. Yeah, it just, you know, makes it look a little bit more interesting, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna taste this. Let me take one little bite, and then you guys need to go to my YouTube channel and go to After the Recipe, Behind the Recipe, and we're gonna talk about it. Okay, see you there.